uh, here in America, there are six million Alzheimer's patients. And that is a disease for which we have no treatment whatsoever. An inflammatory condition that is not being approached by any pharmaceutical development at this time that helps it at all. And so in the context of the fact that we have no treatment for a disease that will affect 50% of people age 85 and older, and therefore is an epidemic likely around the world and therefore a pandemic with very profound implications, a disease with no treatment, shouldn't we do everything we can to focus on what's causing this problem and therefore embrace the idea of Alzheimer's prevention. One of the interesting things that's been recognized as it relates to dementia is a strong correlation between depression, even earlier in life, and the development of ultimately cognitive decline and even specifically Alzheimer's disease. And interestingly, depression is now looked upon as being primarily an inflammatory disorder. We know that in individuals with major depressive uh, disorder, that their inflammatory markers are very, very high. And in fact, they feel sick. They feel inflamed in their bodies. And they may even have a slight elevation of their body temperature, which is one of the things we see in chronic inflammation or inflammatory disorders. So the unifying feature between uh, depression and dementia may well be the presence of uh, inflammation over the long term.